What's up, motherfucker? They met as adversaries. What the fuck was that for? A monster made them allies. <laughs> a secret agent. Immaculate. Intelligent. A rookie. They call him only G. His identity? A mystery. You ever gonna tell anyone what that fucking G stands for? No. A playboy cop. Isaac Washington. Make him mad, and he'll rip your balls off. I'm gonna rip your motherfucking balls off! Tonight, these unlikely allies will confront terror most foul in the blood so tall of Papa's Palace of Pain. Be a courteous guest. By tomorrow morning, I'll have my motherfucking revenge. Papa Caesar will be dead. If we don't stop this mutant outbreak, by tomorrow morning, we'll all be dead. Because your first visit will be your last. Papa's Palace of Pain. Rated X. A sadistic crime lord, master of a perverse science. My darling Jasper, do you have a present for me? They call him Caesar. Our test subject at the hospital is showing progress. You've done very well, my boy. We shall celebrate this tonight with takeout Chinese. A brilliant mind with a broken body. You've gone too far, Papa Caesar. His talents turn to evil to protect the sister who raised him. <laughs> you impotent cripple. <clears throat> Think of your sister before threatening Papa Caesar. Next time you speak, turn the volume to zero, fucking cabbage. Nobody threatens Varla. The ultimate sacrifice. Freeze, bitches! <laughs> because of the shocking nature of the following scenes, they are definitely not recommended for the squeamish or the easily offended. A family betrayed. Tell my sister I love her. Fuck! How do you say that shit without moving your lips? Gee, you see this shit? An act of mercy. It hurts. So much. I can help ease the pain. No, you can fucking not. Shoot the motherfucker. Don't you do tact. That's what I am going to fucking do. You know, Shut the fuck up and shoot. Shit. Happy now, fuckwit. You fucking bastards! You killed my brother! You're his sister? You're his sister? Marla Gunn. A doting sibling to a crippled brother, forced into a life of vice. Now she's filled with a primal hunger for revenge. Mankind's last hope now rests on the shoulders of two men. Caesar's heading to the hospital. We gotta stop that asshole before he gets there. Tasteful ride. Don't disrespect my wheels. She's my pride and joy. Mm, we'll take my car. The plantation house has claimed its victims, but with Papa Caesar on the loose, nobody is safe. You died trying to stop Caesar. I won't rest until I've shot his fucking guts over half the county. <laughs> Papa Caesar, you better pray those fucking pigs catch up with you before I do. Candy Striper, just your average girl next door. 
But behind her wholesome image lies a dark secret. Oh, Jasper, my special little chair bear. One day, we'll be free of this hellhole. Forced to degrade herself night after night for cheap thrills and a handful of dollar bills. I swear, Caesar. I'm gonna shove this gun so far down your throat that I've gotta force my hand up your ass to pull the goddamn trigger. Fuck, kid! Didn't your mama teach you to knock? Oh, Varla, I'm sorry. I thought I heard Jasper's car pulling up outside and couldn't wait to see him. Well, you're not gonna be much good to him with no head on your fucking shoulders. Not that you'll be much good to him now, anyway. Well, what do you mean? He's gone, sugar. He's left me? How could he? He didn't have much choice in the matter. Oh, no. My baby's been wheeled away by another woman? No, girl. Jasper's taken that great stair lift in the sky. That can't be. His only went up one floor. His batteries are flat. Oh, that silly Billy. I always told him to carry a spare. He's fucking dead! No! 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 I'm sorry. Here. He would have wanted you to have this. I love candy. Now dry your eyes. We've got a scumbag to kill. Fuck, where are my keys? Oh, Coco and Cindy took your bike. They wanted to go to the biker bar to turn some tricks. Really? Anything else I should know? Just that. <laughs> Never mind. Get ready to be titillated, tantalized, and teased by tasseled titty temptresses. But beware, these kittens have claws. Witness naked desire, naked lust, naked terror. Adults only, keep both hands on the controller. Bitches has my fucking keys. Damn it, Cindy. Have you lost weight? Where's your little fuck buddy? <laughs> Look, Varla. Look at Cindy's stomach. Oh, fucking gross. What do we do now? We take those bitches down. still be in one piece or I'm gonna come back and kill you fucking bitches all over again. What happened to them? How did they get like that? Damn if I know, but I bet that sick fuck Caesar has something to do with it. Where is he now? Being chased by two asshole cops. Then we should go after them. No kid, it's too dangerous for you. Jasper wouldn't want you to risk your life avenging him. But Popper Caesar killed him. Tell me something I don't know, girl. Well, Jasper had this thing he liked me to do where I'd... Uh... Fuck, I don't need to hear that. Now let's get you the fuck out of here. Then are you going to try to find Papa Caesar? Listen, sister, I don't try anything. I just get up and do it. And when I'm done, that fuck will be dead. Now come on! Riding into the night, a trail of carnage, mayhem, and devastation behind them. Driven by a single desire, revenge. 
Washington and his associates are on their way. Tonight, you have been admitted to Bayou County General. Rest assured, Clement. I have a plan which will eliminate both of them and any evidence of our work here. Your symptoms? Cold sweats, irregular heartbeat, anxiety. The diagnosis? Bleeding horror that cuts like a scalpel to the heart. There is only one cure. A white hot bullet to the brain. Ballistic trauma. Collect your point blank prescription. Ma'am? Ma'am, are you okay? Move aside, diaper shit. Let a man handle this. Motherfucker! Are you gonna answer that? That's not my phone. An unexpected complication. The bitch is ringing! No motherfucking way, man. I manicured only yesterday. You manicured? What if I fucking do? These ain't going inside that bitch. No finger fucking way. Hello? Who could be behind such depravity? It's for you. Yo! Isaac, darling. Papa strikes again. As you well know, Isaac, I enjoy pain. It's like a good Chinese dinner, you know, with the sweet and the sour. Expanding on that analogy, I will smile with delight. That's the sweet as you scream for your fucking life. Of course, that's the sour. Ciao. Mad motherfucker. Shit! The place is wired to blow! We're not dead yet, detective. Let's get the fuck out of here! Hellcat humping a hot steel arm. Hey, you! Crockett Tug! Jump on! A seductive she devil leading a pair of pigs on a roaring rampage of revenge. of you coming to our rescue, Miss. Marla! Marla Gunn! No wisecracks, okay? You gotta be fucking kidding me! What did I just say? Guns! All the fucking guns? What kind of name is that? The name I was born with, dipshit! You see, my birth was celebrated. Whereas on your arrival? Yeah, I'm sure. I bet they tried to push you back in. Whoever the fuck you are. His name is Washington. Isaac Washington. Named after my daddy. And that shit's biblical. So I'd advise showing a little bit more motherfucking respect. Cute. And what do I call your wife back here? I'm Agent G. And Isaac Jr. had issue with my name? You gonna tell me what that G stands for? Afraid not. Well, can you ladies at least tell me what brought you to the plantation tonight? I'm afraid that's top secret. It's personal. Personal? More fucking personal than losing your only brother in the world? Eyes on the road, Paula! Looks like something was eating him alive. More mutants? No shit, Sherlock. If you're both finished admiring each other's dicks, can I remind you we have a fucking mass-murdering psychopath son of a bitch to catch? You wait there, woman. 
Agent Gwendolyn and me are gonna check this shit out. Fuck you! Motherfuck! What does a brother have to do to pacify a bitch? I'm telling you, G, I've tried my best with her. God be my witness. I have shown respect, charm, under fucking standing. But that is the last fucking straw. Ladies and gentlemen, the infinite tact of Isaac Washington. You do. Truly, you do. Use your tongue better than a, a $30 hooker. And man, can I say from the bottom of my heart, you are a shining example to all of us. Mankind, I mean. Don't make me hit you again. Carney, a thousand tiny fingers clawing at your spine. Agent, put your hands in the air. All of them, if you be so motherfucking kind. Now there's some good shit. Motherfucker. That bastard had to be the sickest mutant yet. It's still alive. So now we're stuck out here in the ass end of nowhere with no ride and motherfucking Papa Caesar on a train to fuck knows where by now. And where the fuck have you gone? Don't make me go calling your stupid ass name. No fucking way. You know, Washington, a man driving a car with his own choice of music is one of the finest experiences he can have in an automobile. You call this an automobile? Music, man, motor, isolated from the outside world. Music making you nod your head with every beat while the outside's just passing you by. You know where I'm coming from? If I did, that's not the type of shit I share. Uh, well, how do you mean? A brother cannot be asked to relay his personal affiliation to his music before knowing he can trust that motherfucker. These things take time. Here I am teamed up with a partner I don't even fucking need, forced to sit in the motherfucking passenger seat, which I have not fucking done since I was a kid, while he goes all soft talking about his feelings for his motherfucking tunes. Shit, just play your fucking music, I was listening to that. You fucking think because you scored us this fucking popsicle ride, you can play that shit? Hey, hey, hey. That there is country western's finest. You are one fucked up fuck. You know that? That's offensive shit you're playing me. You ever thought of therapy? What the fuck for? All you do is get pissed off at and with just about anything and anyone. I'm attempting conversation here with you. Conver fucking sation? Yes, Conver motherfucking Sation. But you know what? I'm gonna shut up. You play your music. You play it your way, and I will just drive. Can I drive? No. Can I have a lollipop? Yes. What the fuck? What the fuck? It got into you. I thought I told you to leave town. I miss my Jasper. I left his voice box at the strip club. I just wanted to hear him say, I love you, Candy. One 
more time. Couldn't you just buy the software and type what the fuck you wanted instead? You know my spelling ain't so good. Your speaking isn't so hot either, honey. Nothing, you! What? I said nothing, you! What the hell are you talking about now? My mama always said if you can't say anything nice, say nothing. So nothing, you Varla guns. Come on, let's get you to the train station before one of those mutants nothings the shit out of you. Together again, united by grief, two women, one goal, deadly retribution. There. That psychotic son of a bitch. What the fuck is he doing here? Maybe he's having a barbecue. The only thing on the menu is Papa fucking Caesar. Does that come with salad? No, it comes with a serving of extreme prejudice and a side order of fuck you. Oh, I don't like foreign food. Not since that time Papa Caesar force-fed Jasper Chinese food? Poor Jasper. He was shitting all night long. He knew Jasper's food had to be licky-fried. We should licky-fry him! It's fucking liquefied! And you do understand we're not actually going to eat, Papa Caesar. Well, I was wondering... You know, he did once ask me to... Sugar, we don't have time for this. He's getting away. Okay. Let's go. Good girl. Viola? Yes? Will there be cake? Shut the fuck up! Two daughters heading for the slaughter in an abattoir of terror on a night to dismember. Prepare to be butchered in creeping flesh. Vegetarians need not apply. Oh my! <laughs> What's that stench? It smells like something crawled in here and died. Would it be too much to ask for it to be Papa Caesar? You've got to be fucking kidding me! What is it? No idea, but it looks like it's going to charge. But Varla, I don't have any money on me. What Jasper saw on you, I'll never know. Did I mention the thing he'd like me to do with my... Uh... Quiet, girl. We've got some prime rib to prepare. in there while I get help. No, Varla. It's too late. Feel so weak. You be strong, Angel. Be strong for Jasper. Oh, I can see him, Varla. I can see him on his stair lift. Coming down for me. It's quite slow. But they have to be. Something about health. And safety. Oh, it's stuck. No, it's moving again. Don't you dare die on me, you hear me, Candy? Leave me, Varla. Go. Find Caesar and kill him. I can't leave you here. I won't leave you here. It's okay. My Jasper is here. Huh? You came for me, Jasper. I love you, Candy. 
we can be together again. And Papa Caesar will never split us up. Just hold on. Oh, Jasper, will I have my arm in heaven? Will I still be able to do that thing you like me to do? Sweet dreams, baby doll. Sweet dreams. This time, Papa Caesar, it's really fucking personal. Isaac, you finally found the G-spot, huh? Sorry to ruin the moment. Isaac's back. Here I am. You saw nothing. You hear? Isaac, baby, my lips are sealed. Hey, wake up, sleeping beauty. Stop calling me Gwendolyn. Hi there. What happened? You were having a fucking wet dream. Where's Caesar? He was on the train, right? He was up front driving. Let's take a look. Are you gonna help me up? Be gentle, Isaac. You know that's how he likes to... No. Please, continue, my dear. Usually, I have to dial premium rate for this kind of entertainment. Don't mind now, motherfucker. Careful, Washington. Isaac, it's not a dick he's pressing into my back. Very astute, Miss Gardens. Apparently, young Jasper wasn't the only genius in the family. You bastard. You truly are your father's son, Isaac. Like him before you, you have failed to apprehend him. And while I may not have the satisfaction of ending your life, I will take some small comfort in knowing you have been denied your revenge once again. Then it's true? You did kill my old man? Miss Guns, if you'd be so kind, I have business to attend to at the county prison. You dickheads better come rescue me, okay? We'll find you, Varna. You die tonight, Caesar. Goodbye, Isaac. Washington, I, I... I don't know what to say, man. And don't say anything, dipshit. You heard where he's taking Varla. The quickest way to the prison from here is through that. Lead the way, detective. Madness unleashed by human error. From the murky depths of mystery, it has come to maul. It has come to murder. It has come to feed. It came from the fetid water. Can you give us a fucking moment? Okay. Ready? One, go! My paper beats your rock. Oh, fuck it. You have the right to remain fucking silent. You have the right to an attorney. Anything you say can and fucking will. You just made my fucking day. That was not a shortcut. I mean, what were you... Oh, quit whining, you pussy. I got us here, didn't I? Fuck. You about to get all country and western on me again? Isaac. Careful. There's only so much of this shit a brother can take. Look, I just want you to know, if it comes down to it, I won't stand in the way of you getting even with Caesar. I'd like to see you fucking try. I'm serious. Look, I appreciate the fucking sentiment, but it's not needed. I do what I gotta do. I gotta get justice for my old man. And as I see it, you're with me a hundred fucking percent. And I appreciate that too. But we've been through shit. You don't need to go articulating every fucking thing. I know you got my back. That's enough. You dig me? I love you too, man. Right, that's fucking it. 
the prison then? Fucking lead the way, Montel. Nobody motherfucking move! Varla, put the gun down. We got him. My brother died trying to take down this sick fuck. I need this. I gotta do this for Jasper. Caesar's mine, Varla! Papa Caesar, you're under AMS arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can... Fuck that shit! This bastard can't live! I can't let you kill him. Let me contact my agency and we'll take him into custody. To hell with that! Fucking A, sister. Caesar ain't leaving this platform with his eyes still open, G. Have you both lost it? Ahem. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint all of you. Particularly you, Isaac. You got the most reason to despise me or anybody here. But I have business elsewhere. Urgent business. And... Ah! You piece of shit! I'm sorry. Do continue. See you in hell, Washington. Scream Train. 200 tons of unstoppable terror burning through the night. What was that? Your mama, by the sound of it. Enough with the pissing competition. We're gonna take down the... Motherfucker! <laughs> hey! The assholes! Wait for me! Shit! Gentlemen, this is your driver speaking. I'm pleased to announce we're running ahead of schedule and we'll be reaching our final destination far, far sooner than expected. It's icky! Are you kidding me? All right, Rambo. Don't get all fucking macho. I hate bugs. And that was their fucking bug king. And speaking of bugs... Caesar, you fucking in there? You... Got to. Jump! Fuck! Motherfuck! What happened here? Excuse me, sir. Sir? You two gentlemen smell like shit. I'm gonna do my very best not to base our relationship on this first impression. But, first impressions count for a lot. So if I meet a couple of men who not only neglect the common decency to introduce themselves, but simply walk up to me smelling as shit, well, it's gonna take an effort for me to get to know them. I'm sorry, sir. We just came from the swamp. I'm Agent G, AMS. You're Warden Darling, right? That's entirely accurate, Detective Washington. You see, I'm not the only individual whose reputation precedes them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to piss. My dick's on fire. I've been on the road for at least three quarters of an hour with a bladder full of steaming hot piss, slashing left and right with every turn of the road in a way that a bladder full of steaming piss tends to. Do excuse me. Um, uh, do you have any idea what happened here, sir? Ah, oh, shit. There you go, distracting me. Now I got it all down my left leg. I'm gonna look like I pissed myself. Imagine if I have to meet anybody besides yourselves today. They'd be inclined to think I was the sort of man who pisses himself. Now that'd be a poor first impression, indeed. We ain't got time for this shit. With all due respect, what the fuck's happened here? Is it the mutants? Mutants, you say? Can't say I have any idea what you're talking about, detective. I got a call in the middle of the night. I got told there was trouble at my prison. 
I came down, and here I am. That's the math of the situation right there. We're looking for someone, for a couple of people. A man and a woman. Riding a motorcycle? How the fuck do you know that? Well, there's a motorcycle dumped right over there. Looks like you gentlemen have your own affairs to deal with. I'll be heading inside to see what's what. If I see your friends, I'll be sure to let- They're not our fucking friends! A at least... Look, if you see them, don't let them go. I'll be sure to do that, detective. We appreciate any assistance you can offer us, sir. Call me Clement. You coming, motherfucker? Nice boys. What the mother fuck? Boys, boys, don't be so melodramatic. Put those guns away, take a seat, enjoy the show. Sir, what's going on here? You're behind... That's right. I'm behind the whole thing. Me, I'm responsible for... Don't interrupt me, detective. I have quite a lot to get through. You murdering psycho! You're responsible for all of this? For all those dead freaks? Well, I didn't kill your dad, Washington. Perhaps my esteemed colleague here has something to comment on that one. Clement, Clement, what the fuck are you doing? This wasn't part of our deal. I got the compound refined for you. I... Shut the fuck up. In fact, shut up permanently. No! Oh, shit! You were to do that, right? To get revenge? Hmm, maybe he's good for sloppy seconds. Ouch! Fuck! No, I think he's a goner. You sick bastard! Look, what do you want with Varla? She's not part of this. Let her go. You're actually quite wrong, whoever the fuck you are. I'm Agent G. G? What the fuck does that stand for? I'm afraid that's... Don't care, right? I have someone to introduce you to. Very exciting. Will you two please sit down, okay? And be polite. She's a real stickler for manners. Mother? Meet Isaac Washington. He's a homicide detective. Very good at his job. And this is his friend, Agent. I'm sorry, I didn't entirely catch your name. Clement! Where's my medicine, Clement? You don't need your medicine, Mother. Remember what I told? Where's my fucking medicine, you fatless peasant? Let me give you some context here, boys. I love my mother. I bet you boys love your mothers too, and would do anything to keep them happy and healthy. Well, my mother is dying. Clement! Don't ignore me! And dying really quite rapidly. And unfortunately, there's only one way to fix that. See, the compound that's been turning my inmates and half this county into mindless mutants can be used to sustain life. <laughs> in a manner of speaking. She's got small tits. Don't use the one with small tits, Clement. I forbid it. Calm down, Mother. You're insane. I'm just a very loving son. Uh, I'm, I'm going to fucking puke. Oops. Time for your treatment, Mother. Wait! I'd rather not. I can't believe Caesar is finally fucking dead. Hey, 
Snap out of it. We've got to find Varla. You who hello, boys. One last thing. If you'd be so kind as to look towards the stage, please. Between them, 21 counts of armed murder, 17 counts of aggravated assault, 12 counts of sexual assault, 3 bombings, and 1 instance of eating a little boy's puppy. We fried him in old Sparky about 6 months ago, and since then I've been tinkering with them on my weekends off. See, I find Oh, yeah. Our feature presentation, Jailhouse Judgment, will resume after these messages. Forty years ago, at the height of the Cold War, a group of military scientists created Formula X. Its purpose, to turn any individual into an unnaturally strong super soldier. The project failed. Today, the bunker that was home to these mysterious experiments and the last remaining samples of Formula X lies sealed and hidden. Its location unknown. Heaven forbid anyone should ever open that bunker and learn of the secrets contained within. Heaven forbid anyone should discover Operation Overkill. Hold still, please. This is a very delicate procedure. You can't! Please! No! Ow! So how are we gonna do this? I figured we'd kill every motherfucker who stands in our way. For a change. Works so far, I guess. Ready? Born ready. So, where's Varla? She's right here, boys. Varla? Are you okay? Better than okay. I've never felt so turned on in my life. Say what? Don't worry, detective. Everybody will have their chance to have a go. Nobody's having a go with anybody. Stay behind me, Varla. Grab your gun, not your dick. Planet. Did I call for you? Go to your room. Can't you just one time in your life show your son a little fucking gratitude? And try to act your age. Don't you ever talk to your mother like that. Sorry, Mommy. That's better. Oh my fucking... What have you done? I should think that's pretty self-explanatory. Your friend is in that jar over there. She's alive, too. What's left of her. Then your stock just fucking crashed! I love you, Mom. Mom? I don't understand! The formula should've worked! Say night night to mommy, asshole. No! And I think it's past your fucking bedtime, young man. Mommy! Fuck! I, I guess this is it. It's certainly been an adventure. You wanna do the honors? Farla. 
This is for you. How we survived that, I don't know. Hey, if we hadn't found these mini guns just lying around, we'd be fucking dead for sure. I'm just glad Barla got the justice she deserved. So, what do you plan to do with your life now, Isaac? Well, I figured as soon as I got home, I'd go pay my respects to my old man. And then? And then Washington's going to fucking Vegas, baby! She's still fucking alive, ain't she? Appears that way. You got anything clever to say? I'm at somewhat of a loss. Then let's just make this look fucking cool. Alone. I can't go on in a world without my mommy. In a world that would never accept him. You're fucking right there. A cornered animal. I advise you, don't. This is a dead man switch. With nothing to live for. Kill me, and the self-destruct for the lab beneath us goes off. This whole prison will be leveled. Then what do you want? Sought only redemption. I want to undo all the wrongs I have done. I want to return to the womb. Please, just this one last thing. You fucking handle this freak show. I need to sit down. When revenge seemed the only option. You've broken a hundred laws. You're responsible for the deaths of countless thousands. You threatened the safety of every man, woman, and child on this planet. And you put our friend's brain in a jar! I have a lot to atone for. By returning to the womb? That's right. A final noble act. Give me that. Thank you. Was all that was needed. Don't fucking thank him. Soon as we're in the helicopter out of here, I'm chucking that thing out the fucking window. Then I can die happy. Goodbye, boys. Did you not find this all slightly ironic? I fucking ironic? Yeah, ironic. You know, when something occurs after you... I know what ironic means, motherfucker. You see, you did it again. Throughout this whole episode, you've been motherfucking everything. That's my thing. That's how I fucking speak. Yeah, but there we were, face to face with the real motherfucker. Huh? Clement more than likely fucked his mother. And not once, not once did you call him motherfucker. When indeed he was, most probably a real motherfucker. So what does that tell you? I don't fucking know. It means you don't fucking mean what you fucking say. It's all shit. Say what, motherfucker? See, you're doing it fucking again. You like me. Deep down through all your fuckisms, you really like me. I'm the fucking nearest fucking thing you've ever had to a fucking friend. Don't fucking do this to me, man. Wrong fucking place, wrong... Go on, go on, say it. Say the fuck what? Say you like me. Get the fuck out of my space. Never repeat fucking talk of that shit again. Or what? I don't fucking know what. That's fucking what. Okay, man, okay. We made progress here. You did good. When we're back home, I am going to get myself a car, play my country music, and if you want to ride back to where the fuck ever you live, you are motherfucking welcome. Fuck you. So that's a yes then. Can I drive? Yeah, fuck you. Washington is washing off on you. Barla Guns, if you can hear me, I'd like you to know I think you're the most beautiful woman I've ever met. Now that just ain't right. I think if we've learned anything from today, it's that love ain't always right. Hey, I love my old man. You saying that ain't right? Well... And your fiancé in that jaw there loved her brother. 
I was just making an observation. Frankly, Casanova, I'd be more worried about reading the past 12 hours as a damning fucking indictment of contemporary feminism. Big pardon? I just think two dick-wielding cop cliches taking down a hundred-foot earthen mother is a statement fairly limited in its interpretation. I'm not sure you can read too much into that. Not to mention, the strongest female role model in this whole affair ain't much more than a gherkin in a pickle jar. Washington? They had met as adversaries. What the fuck is it? They had fought as allies. I love you, man. Oh, shut the fuck up. But to their enemies. And you? One-way ticket to motherfucking Vegas, baby. They were righteous motherfuckers.